Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, December 30th, 2015. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. After sending out shockwaves following the announcement that he'd be moving to the open class come 2016, Aaron Clark looks to be settling in just fine. Over the holiday, an absolutely enormous looking Clark was spotted in the gym, getting in a little bit of heavy chest training as he prepares for what is certain to be a very interesting 2016 contest season. Now that he's not holding back and finally able to spend his offseason growing without any restrictions, Clark looks like he's morphing by leaps and bounds. And although he hasn't announced what his plans are for next year, you can be certain that we're going to see a bigger and better version of Aaron Clark than we've ever seen before. With Juliana Malacarney sitting out the 2016 Arnold Classic, one of the most prestigious titles is up for grabs. And there might not be any competitor in this year's lineup in a better position to capitalize on the opportunity than the red-hot Danny Reardon. After starting off the year with a bang by notching her first pro win at the IFBB Greater Gulf States, Reardon went on to shock everyone with an inspiring fourth place finish at the Olympia, putting her into the spotlight as one of the athletes to watch in the women's physique division heading into 2016. Reardon's physique and stage presence bring a real palpable excitement to the stage, which is only going to be magnified once the bright lights come on in Columbus, Ohio. But in this sport, sometimes opportunity only knocks once. So if Reardon's going to take full advantage of this opportunity, she better be ready to answer the call and bring her best to the Arnold stage. Danny Reardon won't be the only one headed to Columbus, Ohio with bad intentions and an unquenchable championship thirst. Last year's big surprise of the women's physique world, Kieran Newman, is also planning to bring her talents to the Buckeye State. After a two-year absence from the stage, the incomparable Newman made her comeback in a major way, taking home wins at the Crystal Cup and Chicago Pro, before taking the collective breath out of the building with an astonishing second-place performance at the Olympia. Newman's physique really seems to embody what the women's physique division is all about, which on paper makes this her show to lose. All year long, Newman thrived playing the role of underdog, but now that the pressure's on, it'll be interesting to see if her championship mindset kicks in and she brings home the gold. The offseason seems to be kicking Alex Carnero's training up a few notches, heading into the new year. Over the weekend, new footage surfaced of the perennial top five finisher in the middle of a very intense chest training session as he prepares to launch a vicious assault on the 2016 contest season. Very quietly, Carnero has been one of the more consistent stars in the men's physique division since he turned pro, only placing outside of the top six once in his entire career. Despite his decision to forego the Olympia the past two seasons, Based on his resume alone, Carnero still has to be considered a major threat to do damage each and every time he takes the stage. And if he's going to keep up this level of intensity all the way through to the start of the season, he could be in store for a very big year. While most of the world was busy eating cookies and drinking eggnog by the gallon on Christmas Day, perennial bikini powerhouse Stephanie Maho was getting busy in the gym giving her legs the old bah humbug treatment. Since announcing that she'd be taking the stage to compete in her second straight Arnold Classic, Maho has really kicked things into high gear, hitting the gym like a woman on a mission. Last season, Maho was a one-woman wrecking crew on the bikini circuit, securing top seven or better finishes in each of her eight contests. And now that she's back to training with her eyes on the prize, we might be in for some real fireworks once the curtain draws and the games begin less than three months from today. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey!
guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!